Good evening everyone, it's Michelle here. I'd like to give you an introduction to my junk journal, purely junk, but using radiator reflective foil. It's a product that I had, I purchased for 50p down in the car boot cell, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. It's a very malleable product, it's got a lovely finish to it, absolutely adoring for the moment, the lovely silver reflective foil. I thought, let's see what we can do. I have been able to neatly stitch my sewing is not fantastic but I've just had a little bit of go at sewing. You can pop eyelets in very easily done. Brads go in very very nicely. I have die cut the foil and I have also put a little place a bit of acrylic paint and some treasure gold wax on here just to give it a little bit of colour. I also found that you can actually with the die cuts turn it over and it has like a clear plastic bag, very soft, very light soft packing and I've actually done some stamping with this flower I use some acrylic paint I only, it's only a trial, I'm sure if I press down firmly I've got a whole flower, but it's just experimenting how far you can take this particular product. As you can see I've done it like, I haven't, it's easy to cut, very easy to cut. If I take you around, I've done just like a, put two signatures into this journal, I've done a three hole pamphlet stitch. I also, earlier today, using some stays on ink, I stamped, which is lovely and dry, so it's taken the stays on ink, and I've done some tissue paper here. Just use some tacky glue, and it's, yep, it jeered lovely. I mean, there are endless possibilities, I am sure. And the last thing I'd like to show you, I've just done a little flower here and I actually put that through the die cutting and I made it suede. It's a little piece of a suede boot that I had which is in olive green. Wasn't as impressed with the olive green. So using some treasure gold, I applied it to the suede here which has given it a lovely gorgeous gold amethyst purpley finish so just something I'm playing with it seems it's not I wouldn't want to rub it forever but it's not coming off on my fingers so quite pleased with that now as I said this is purely is a junk journal so little ribbon closure And I have yet, I haven't put paper on, I am considering putting some fabric on, So, but I've just left it so you can see the brands that have come through, my stitching. At the bottom here, I've applied some ribbon, so I'm just threaded it through. I'm still playing, it's still a product that needs to be developed. I did have a quick go. I've made like a little mini file folder here, <coughs> excuse me, and using the tacky glue I did adhere this fabric on which seems to be absolutely beautiful. So I would imagine that fabric could be applied here. It's still work in progress as you can imagine. And I'll just quickly flick you through, <coughs> excuse me, flick you through literally my junk. So I'm just using scrap pieces of paper here. I've just made some simple things as a little pocket. I received some money in the post, which came 
and this little plastic first class envelope. Inside is a little booklet. I've had fun just putting notes, using some of the design, some of the stamping up. Little, I mean, they are old. I don't deny that. Old products here, but just fun, just me learning and playing. So we've got a long banner here, some mixed media, just acrylic, just using a crayon and then just painting back over. So like a real resist. Some pockets, a little picture frame, just on some brown craft paper. Finding out, just cutting out hearts, doing like a little tuck spot, the Tim Holtz butterfly. Bit of tracing paper here. I traced off, I got some playing cards. I made for Father's Day a humongous big tag and I decided to make sure that my father knew he was ace. So I transferred that onto a large tag and that's just the tracing paper. More of the Tim Holtz, me and just playing on paper. Some parchment, well, I say parchment, it's not parchment, some ledger paper, just with some of my old accounting. And I just used a resealable from my pasta just to glue down where the perforations were. Centre of the signature, I haven't even glued that together yet, but there's the centre of the signature, my old diary. But again, it's very much me just playing around and this is purely just using up my scraps. My partner, he is a HGV driver and he tends to get maps downloaded to him. So rather than throw them away, I started cutting them up and including them. Just done some fancy cutting with the scissors. Lots of room for journaling, lots of room for painting. More part of that mixed media paper. Signatures are flying by now. My pages certainly are. Another one of those road maps piece of paper from the next size book, plastic envelope just with I'm using it as a tuck stop, more mixed media paper, banner, plain white paper, pocket, tag inside. It is Literally all shapes, all sizes, anything I could get my hands on that was just going. I had some photocopies that I found in a book that I just purchased down the charity shop. Stuck them in. Like anything, I just love the size of the paper. Some washi down the side here, just holding the perforation down my ledger paper. Grunged it all up. On this occasion, played with some filter coffee. And just the granules, more paper. I just literally bleached out a piece of paper here by coffee spraying it, and it just literally all the colour seemed to just disappear. My ink was not fast, included it. Made a little envelope here just from scrap, a couple of banners here. Tea dye paper, photocopy, just fussy cut and stuck onto a scrap of paper, tux box, tags, taken from my daughter's old book that she was doing for college, which said notes, so some place for journaling, little side tuck here, tag. Another little envelope, pocket, grunged up coffee, more cut fancy cutting with scissors, and we have a belly band here, another tuck spot at the side, centre of the signature. I've just left that all out and so it shows. 
Yep, just checking. It's not a Betty Band, but a full tuck spot. Another tuck. These just happen to be sections out of a paper chase diary that I had in 2014. And I've just cut them lovely designs back into the, some copy dyed note paper. Little band. Tim Holtz butterfly. Just a side tuck here. More of the ledger paper, left it upside down. Tea dyed, bleached out paper. Some craft paper. Some fancy paper. Map. Exercise. And just last a tuck. So thank you very much for having a look. It may work, it may not, but it's just a new product. I think you ladies and gentlemen will probably, you give it, may give it a go, if so you may develop this idea. It is just a matter of me playing with another product. It's soft, it's tactile, it's to a degree it's waterproof as well. And I don't know its durability, but it seems pretty good to me. So thank you very much, ladies and gents. Bye-bye.